Good evening, church. So today I'm going to be reading Ephesians 2, verses 8 to 9. So God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this. It was a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. Great. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Jason. It's excellent to be here. Well, there's a good good number of us here tonight. The song sounded fantastic. So great singing, I must say. It's very encouraging hearing everyone sing out as we praise the Lord. And uh, and interesting to hear about your shopping shopping adventures as well. We are <laughs> tonight we're continuing a series called Questioning Jesus. And so in this series, so after orientation for about four weeks, we just do shorter talks. Uh, yeah, shorter talks for a few weeks. And this will be the last one. Then next week, we'll be uh, into a new series on uh, themes. So we'll go back a bit longer talks. And uh, yes, so they'll be coming up next week. Now, for this one, we're asking the question, can you pay to get into heaven? So it's an interesting topic. We can pay for lots of things. Can we pay to get into heaven? I'm going to pray for us as we think about this. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much that we can meet together. We thank you for the joy it is to be able to sing and rejoice in how good you are to us. And we pray, Lord, that you will open up our hearts. We pray that you'll show us your ways and uh, how it is that we get into heaven. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Paula went online a little while ago and she wanted to buy a few pairs of earrings. And so she was waiting. It took, she wanted to buy three pairs of earrings. And so the other week, we got a package with something like 30 earrings. And uh, so just to show a few of these, if anyone wants some uh, leaf earrings, we've got some here. <laughs> oh, sorry, not 30, 70 earrings. So and anyone who wants, there's, there are smaller ones than these. We won't say how much this cost, okay? <laughs> but so... We go online, we have money, we pay for something and you get something else in return. So we pay and we get something back. And so this is on the topic of earrings or exercise clothes and bikes, <laughs> we get these things. What we want to know is can you pay to get into heaven? Can we pay or is there another way to pay to get into heaven? Now, this is our topic for this evening. Now, this is the normal system. This is how things work. You pay, you pay money, and then you get food at a restaurant. Or say you're studying at university, you pay money, then you can study a subject. And so you pay and you get something back. You pay and you receive. So this is the normal system of how everything works in life. You know, you pay, you get something back. Then we think about with corruption. With corruption, People pay money, maybe a lot of extra money that is not fair, and they go past the normal systems and they pay to get something. Other people miss out. Other people have trouble. In corruption, they pay and they get something. I want you to think back to when you were younger and think about uh, maybe a comment that your parents said to you. You might have heard this kind of phrase. If you clean your room, you can watch a movie. It, have, has anyone heard this kind of phrase before? <laughs> if, if you do this, then you can get something else. So there's a condition, like we get to watch a movie, but there's a condition, you have to do this first, and then you'll get something else. That is often how things work, isn't it? There is conditions around things, not just about money, maybe time, maybe our energy and how we spend it. And uh, we, w we won't ask Ethan uh, if he's heard any phrases like this, our son, Ethan. We won't ask you, <laughs> if you tidy your room. <laughs> no. Yeah. <there's>... Yeah. <laughs> now, in the past, in the church as well, I'm thinking back 500 years ago. There was a time 
where in the church they thought that if you pay money to the church, then you can get into heaven. And so at this time, they would, or also if you prayed on these stairs in a certain way, then that could get you into heaven. Or if a family member of yours had died, then you could pay so that they can get into heaven. And so this is a different direction that's in the Bible. And it's something we see in all different ways. For other people, they might say, if you offer these sacrifices, then you can get into heaven. Or they might say, if you do this thing, if you go to the temple, if you do these things, then you are rewarded and you get blessing or you can get into heaven. We might say it another way. If you do good things, then you can get into heaven. So some people might say that if you are a good person and you show kindness to other people, then you'll get into heaven. So if you're good, you'll get into heaven. Now in this idea, in this kind of idea, you pay with goodness. It's like, I'm going to pay God goodness, good deeds, good actions, thinking that, oh, yes, God will give me heaven. It's often how things work, isn't it? If you do this good thing, then you will get something in reward. But this is not how God does things. With Jesus, it is very different. Ephesians 2 Uh, Verse 8 and 9 says this, God saved you by his grace when you believed and you can't take credit for it. This is a gift of God. Now the word grace says in there, God saved you by his grace. Grace is talking about an undeserved kindness from God to us. So we don't always love God. Sometimes we ignore God. Sometimes we do not care about God. And so we don't deserve his kindness, but he just shows us that kindness. Can I ask in some other language, what languages, what, is, what are the words or phrases for grace in other languages? Okay, let's uh, think about, what about, yes. I guess, did you say that again? Excellent. That's grace. Thank you. Bit of uh, Korean for us tonight. I, I saw some other hands. What's another other one? What about in Indonesian, Jonathan? Karunia. Okay. Thank you very much, Jonathan. What's what's some others? Any anyone else like to give us the word for grace? Jeffy. Yeah. Is it really the same? Similar, very similar. That's amazing. Grace. God's kindness when we do not deserve it. God's kindness when we do not deserve. See, God loves us and he cares for us if we are good or if we are bad. And that is the amazing thing. God shows us kindness and he loves us if we're good or if we are bad. And there's times when I'm bad when I do not please God, when I do not love him or serve him with all that I am. But that is grace that God loves when we're good and when we are bad. And so the way he saves us is Jesus comes and he dies on the cross. So 2,000 years ago, Jesus came. He chose to die on a cross. And when he died there, he paid the price to get into heaven. He took the punishment and the judgment of God onto himself on the cross and he died in our place. And so at the cross, and we remember this at Easter time, at the cross, Jesus paid the price to get into heaven. So let's read this verse again. God saved you by his grace, undeserved kindness, when you believed. So this, in this line from the Bible, it is saying that when we believe in Jesus, then we're saved. If when we believe in Jesus, then we can go to heaven. 
And this is the great work of Jesus because it is so different. This is not saying be good and God will save you. No, this is saying Jesus died, trust him and he will save you. It's amazing, isn't it? This great work of Jesus. Now, I want to teach you some Australian slang. And the line is this. Uh, it's called my shout. I want, to, I want you to picture <laughs> you've gone out for dinner and you're sitting around and you're eating this very tasty food and you're enjoying the time. And then someone at the table says, I'm going to pay. And they say, and they go up and they put the money, they uh, pay, get the card out and they pay for the dinner. Now, in Australian English, the word for this is my shout. No, it doesn't mean they're yelling. No, there's no yelling. <laughs> but what it means is someone else pays for you. As in, you eat for free and they pay. And this is what is happening with Jesus when he dies on the cross. This is what is happening with Jesus in how you get to heaven. He is saying, it's my shout. I pay so you can get into heaven. He pays by his death on the cross so that we can get into heaven. This is the undeserved kindness. This is the grace and love of God for him to come and die and pay the price for heaven. This is so different, isn't it? This is not if you clean your room, you'll watch a movie. No, it's not like that. This is I love you. You don't deserve to get into heaven, but I will pay the price so that you can come and be there. God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Uh, in the next part, it says, salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done. So none of us can boast. Now, if we do something good, we might say, oh, yeah, I'm so happy I got a, a distinction in my essay. Maybe, and maybe someone might say that or... I just finished this job and it went really well and I'm so happy and you sort of boast about, I'm, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm, or maybe the, the quiet boast. It's like the quiet boast, like, yeah, it went really well. I, I was good. I, I'm really good at this. And, you know, if we're thinking about being saved, we can't boast. If we're thinking about being rescued by Jesus, we can't say, oh, I did it. No, Jesus did it. Jesus died on the cross and he did everything that we need. See, it's not like this, like being saved costs $100. And, you know, and we think, oh, you know, Jesus, he paid 90 and I'm going to add 10. So he paid the 90. He just, Jesus just needs a little bit of help. So I'm going to add the last 10. No, it's not like that. Jesus paid the hundred. He paid the full amount so that we can be rescued. This is the great work and love of Jesus. And it is so different. It is so different. Because we don't deserve it. And he just showers his love on us. He shows his love that never changes in care of all of us. It is amazing grace. It is an amazing grace that he shows towards us. Now, this is very humbling. It's very humbling because in life, we're taught be independent. You need to achieve. And maybe you've been sent from your country by your family, your community. You go to Australia and you succeed and you do us proud and, you know, you win and succeed. And, yeah, we have this atmosphere, like, oh, I need to do well. I've got to make my way. I need to succeed. But when we think about being saved, this is very humbling because we cannot succeed. We cannot be good enough to get into heaven. I'm not perfect. I need someone to save me to get into heaven. And so for us, when we think about this, it is very humbling to say, I cannot save myself. 
It's humbling to say, I cannot save myself. I need Jesus to save me. This is so humbling. And this is what a Christian is. When someone becomes a Christian, this is what they're saying. I can't save myself. I trust Jesus to save me and I live for him. That is what a Christian is. We follow Jesus and we trust him to save us. I want to encourage you. If you have known about Jesus for a long time, I encourage you, you talk to Jesus. You say, I trust you to save me. I cannot save myself. Give me strength to follow you because he's the God of love, which is amazing and good. Now, when we think about God's love, in other relationships, love can be dependent on how good we are. Like people might think, oh, yeah, if, you, if you're good and nice, then they will love you more. It can be like that, can it? If you're good, if you help, they will love you more. But you know what? With God, it is not like that. It is not like that. Because he loves us the same always. His love has so many different names. Is oh, What about I ask you? When we talk about loves, give me some describing words for God's love from the Bible. Anyone want to add one for one else? God's love is for it is a kind of love. Sorry? Patient love. Yes. Thank you, Kim. Awesome. What else? Sorry? Glenn? Unfail hey, that is a great one. Thank you. Unfailing? Yeah. Unfailing, unconditional. These are great, aren't they? Excellent. There was some more over here. Everlasting. So patient, unfailing, unconditioning, unconditional, everlasting love. See, his love does not change towards you. If you are someone who follows after him, his love does not change. We do not think, oh, if I do this, he will love me more. No, he already loves you so much. He already sent his son to die on the cross and show his love towards you. He can do nothing more <laughs> than that. You cannot be more loved than that. So as you walk your life, if you are someone who follows Jesus, let us be free of the ideas of like, if I pray, then God will bless it. Or if, if I give some money here, then I'm going to get more love. No, no, no. He loves you the same always. But I know in myself, I can go down that line, I think, you know, for this, like preparing for a talk. If I don't, I would need to pray and then, you know, then it would go well. No, like I know God loves me as I prepare, as I trust him and seek after him because he has towards you he has this patient love that is unfailing and everlasting towards all of us now i started this talk asking can you pay to get into heaven now jeffy wants to do a test on all of us at the end of it i hope we say can you pay to get into heaven no you cannot but jesus can that's the answer, isn't it? We cannot pay to get into heaven, but Jesus can pay with his blood when he died on the cross. Will that make us pass, Jeffy? Will that be it? <laughs> Will that be a pass? Yeah, it's, it's a good question. Can we pay to get into heaven? No, Jesus saves us, and he saves us by his grace when we do not deserve it. This is an amazing grace, an amazing love that he has for all of us. Now, I want to say that if you're new here and you're finding out about Jesus, I want, to, I want to encourage you, keep seeking after him because he's amazing with his unfailing love that never ends and which is for you and he cares for you. So I encourage you, keep seeking after him. Later tonight, Bu Yung will lead a, a small group where you can ask questions. There's groups on Fridays and we can meet other times. If you have questions, talk to people over the over coffee and food, would love to talk more and uh, explore uh, this about Jesus. Can you pay to get into heaven? No, we cannot, but Jesus did. And so we trust in him, our great rescuer and savior. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for Jesus. We thank you that out of your great kindness, 
Jesus came and died on the cross. We thank you that out of your great love for us, he sacrificed everything. And we thank you that he did everything that's needed to be rescued. And Lord, we pray this week, help us to know how wide and long and deep your love is. Help us to know deeper about your patient, unfailing, never-ending and everlasting love. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, as we were